Acute optic neuritis is the sudden loss of vision in one eye. There is pain on movement, movement of the eye, but mostly patients can see out of one eye. It becomes from very blurry to actually not being able to see. And it's very scary because they're healthy people, so they go to the emergency room. What's wrong with my eye? Early in the life of MS patients, they can have uh, once or maybe twice. Uh, it's rare that they have many more than uh, two or three symptomatic episodes. Eventually what happens is the lesions are occurring in other parts of the brain and the spinal cord. It's a disease more common of women. Two out of three are women, 20 to 40 years old are the most common uh, age. The trials show that uh, patients who were with acute optic neuritis first attack, these were healthy people living in the community when they got the first attack of acute optic neuritis and they were treated with antilingo. The primary endpoint, which is recovery of conduction between the eye and the retina, improved uh, much more on antilingo than on placebo. Twice as many patients treated with antilingo recovered back to normal. We have many treatments for um, multiple sclerosis. They're all anti-inflammatories. Antilingo is the first drug that we are testing in humans for myelin repair. So it is an important uh, result for the field. The efficacy on, on the renewed trial provides evidence that in fact it is possible to repair damaged myelin in the human brain and that's welcoming news for the field. The field of neuroreparative therapies is a, is a new field where uh, we are breaking new ground and we have the patient uh, needs in mind and hope to stimulate others in the field to join in this effort. As, uh, it is difficult, important, and the renewed results are encouraging news that in fact we are actually able to repair myelin. It's very important at, at the same time as we are assessing whether the drug is efficacious, we are studying its safety and tolerability. Uh, we had completed the phase one studies which showed that uh, antilingo was well tolerated and now the renewed study uh, on Thursday we are presenting the results of the safety analysis. Overall we're finding again similar to phase one that the drug is well tolerated. Uh, we had uh, some cases of hypersensitivity reactions which uh, resolved and that's common with biological drugs. Antilingo is a uh, monoclonal antibody. Antilingo is being developed for the treatment of multiple sclerosis. We are uh, running two phase two studies. The one we are presenting now is in a first episode of acute optic neuritis because that's how a lot of MS patients present. A lot of MS patients during their life develop acute optic neuritis. And equally important, we have really good tools to examine what the drug is doing in acute optic neuritis. But we're also running a study in MS called Synergy, which is fully enrolled and will get results next year. So the results from the two trials will inform the next steps. MS is known as a demyelinating disease because one of the cardinal features is the loss of myelin. Myelin is the insulation around the nerve fibers. The goal for this therapy is to help the human uh, brain and spinal cord uh, put the myelin back on these axons. Uh, the myelin has many important functions including a facilitating the conduction of information. It also uh, keeps the axons healthy. So we hope that by putting the myelin back, uh, patients will experience uh, a benefit. And that's what uh, the next study, as well as the phase three trials, hopefully will investigate.